The craziest thing happened to start Man. 2023. <sighs> like... Brother Hamlin, man. Man, that, listen. That was the most freakish, crazy, because it, it didn't seem like it was something crazy, because mm -mm. I was door dashing. And then, you know, I went to go pick up a delivery, and I saw people like, you know, the game went on. I was like, yo, what's going on, bro? Because people was on the field, everybody huddled, and people didn't want to show, like, and usually when you don't want to show, like yeah, what's going on it's on like the some field? Type of gruesome injury, it's like, like something like, gruesome, gruesome, something crazy. People shaking their head. People looking distraught and like discouraged. And then I, I looked on the radio. And it was like, yeah, man, he hasn't been breathing. I was like, yo, this is real. Yeah, I, I was in my room, in Vegas, chilling with the wife. Right. And like, I had, uh, I had turned from the game because I was, you know, I had turned to something else real quick, right? You know, commercials. And then when I turned back, I'm like, what happened? Right. And so, like, no replays is being shown or nothing. I'm like, I'm on my phone, like, what happened? Right. And then, you know, you could just hear, like, the sorrow in everybody's voice. And right. at first, I'm like, dang, man. I'm thinking, like, a neck injury. Like, dang. Like, right. just crazy. Exactly. And then you start just hearing more. And when they start saying CPR and resuscitation, right. I'm like, well, like, what y'all mean? And exactly. then I was able to get on Twitter. And Twitter was able to have, like, show what actually happened. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, wow. Because when you look at the tackle, it looks so normal. Like, right. I've seen way worse collisions. Exactly. That. Like, way worse. Right. And so, uh, basically, from what I was researched and listened to, it was a doctor that was on CNN that night. Mm -hmm. And he basically explained that uh, your heart beats at a certain beat. Right. And for the very rare chance in a split moment, something can... Uh, anything of a large impact can knock off that beat if it happens at the exact same time that it needs to happen for that to happen. Exactly. And that was just crazy that in that moment, he made a tackle, his heart, the impact on his chest all happened simultaneously. Right. And in between that, you get six seconds before you pass out. So when he hit him and he stood up, that's two. And then the next four happened when he collapsed. Mm -hmm. And so then that's why, you know, they had to – um Bring him back to life. That to you know, resuscitate him, use the CPR, um, and that's what I'm saying. Shout out to the Bills right. training staff and the, and I forgot the guy's Ooh. name. Yeah, um, but he was the first on the scene, and they brought him back to life. Shocked his heart right back. They was able to restore his breathing. Right, right. Then they're on the field, and it was you know, crazy, man. It was crazy it, for something like that to happen. Um, the like it just. <sighs> To start the year, I was like, yo, this year already starting uh, off wild. Wild. Bro. Um, but the good news is, is that he's progressing. He's still in, in, in critical condition. But the signs are looking remarkable, according to the doctors, that he's he's got the breathing tube out. Yep. Now he's breathing on his own. He's talking. He's, he's FaceTime this team. Man. He's still in critical condition, though. Um, yeah, they, I had seen, I think it was late last night, that it's a chance that uh, he's going to be moved from ICU to general general stuff to where then by it, today or tomorrow and then they want to run you just have to run some tests to see what you know, actually happened yeah or what what caused this and all that good right. stuff so like but, i said man this it's been a lot yeah man but it's good to see that the you know he's doing better man because it could have it could it could have been worse shout out to the uh you know the training staff and the and the, the first responders, and then you know uh, Cincinnati Since, oh my God. Uh, Medical Center, man. They out Just here Cincinnati in general. Yeah, like, like they, it's, Cincinnati. No, real talk, real talk. <laughs> um, there's some great people. There's some great folks uh, that put life over sports, and, man. And I appreciate that. Um, but you know, one thing I did want to talk about before we go to next topic is the insensitivity of some people's tweets. You know, there's been... Oh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was some stuff. People was upset about your boy Skip Bayless yeah. and his tweets about how the football game should continue. And then he tried to, you know... He dressed, just tried to dress it up. Redress it up and say, these ain't the shoes I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing these. It's not the real outfit. I yeah, was just yeah, trying to type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and how do you feel about his comments, though, man? I mean, it's Skip, bro. See, I, I feel like... Uh, Skip is moving to that territory of he can say whatever and nothing's right. going to happen because right. Fox is not going to say nothing. Right. Like, because he's generating no money. And right. We've talked about this before. Right. 
money makes power, power, and all that good jazzy stuff. So it's just like he can say whatever, and there's not going to be no repercussions. And it's unfortunate that that he can continuously get away with this. I mean, you saw because Shannon wasn't even on the show Tuesday. Right. So when Shannon showed up Wednesday, tried right. to speak about it, Skip made it about him again. Oh, I stand by it. I'm not taking it down. And again, like, when you look at what he said, it's like, because he had tweets previous to that one and tweets after. Right. So when you look at some of his tweets or that that chain of tweets, you saw that he cared. It was just in that one, he was he was like, he was talking out loud, but it wasn't the right way to talk out right, loud. Right, 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 right. You feel me? Like, I right. felt like that would have been the one tweet he probably could have kept to himself because what he said is what a lot of people were actually thinking, but, like, this ain't probably the time to make that comment. Right, right. You feel me? Because it was like, this game is an important game, which right. is facts. It is. What was it, important? Important game. game. A lot is on the line. A lot can, like, it's, it's, Seating, it's all a kind whole, of stuff. Like outside of what's happened to this young man, this game is is big. It's just not the time to say that. Right, there's that's, a time that's, and a place. That's and that's basically what it is. So the insensitivity behind it, right, it's not necessarily the comment itself, right, because he didn't say nothing crazy like, well, get him off the field and they right, need to right, play. Right, he right. didn't say he didn't go that yeah, far. He said that he yeah. got canceled. Yeah, for sure. But it was just more or less his timing was horrible. And because his timing was horrible, that's what made that situation horrible. Then he kind of doubled down, and then that didn't make it no better. But but here's my thing, man. It's like you have to take accountability for saying things at the wrong time. Like yes, I, even that, if you, that's the it, point. Even if you don't mean no harm, and you and you you got just right, and everything is a, it's a valid statement. It's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but 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 what the issue is, ain't nobody giving a dang about no dang. The seedings, what they nah. care about right now is, is that brother going to live or not? That's yes. the number one thing they worried about. A football game, we can figure about that tomorrow. We probably, because the season probably, we probably would have canceled games this weekend if right. he didn't live. I'm right. just being honest. They would have. They definitely would have. And so my, my thing is, wait till tomorrow to talk about that. I wonder how the NFL is going to either reschedule what happens here from the playoffs. I still, you know, I I'm, I'm, I appreciate them counseling the game, but now the uh, another issue that lies is how does the seeding plays out? Because, how, how are we going to figure this out going forward? Yeah, and I would I respect that more the next day or whatever the case may be, but to do it right in the middle of the heart of it, it's like, bro, I just got shot, bro. Why are you why are you wearing about other stuff? Yeah. Like how yeah, you gonna yeah, get to yeah. how you gonna get, get to that the, job yeah. interview? Yeah. Like that's a big job yeah, interview. Yeah, like, right. are they gonna hire you for that? Yeah, I bro. just got shot, bro. Yeah. I don't wanna yeah. get shot or anything, but something just happened to me. Yeah. And you worrying about a goddamn job interview. I don't care about no job interview right now. All I care about is my health and my well being. And that's so it. That's the thing that that people was trying to get Skip to understand, and I would have respected if he was just like, you know, you know, right? I, I I'll take it down because I said it out of context, but then I can explain. Like, look, I don't mean no disrespect. I shouldn't have put the tweet up there. Yeah. That's my fault. Yeah. It wasn't the right time or was, place mm-hmm. to that's, put that tweet and that, up there. And, and I think just you you hit it perfectly. Just accountability. That's it. Being accountable. You can stand by the tweet. Right. But just be accountable for, like, that probably wasn't the time. Exactly. For the tweet. And so, I mean, but even if we was go past Skip, even uh, Bart Scott. Right. People came for him. Because he, 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 he tried to insinuate that it was T. Higgins' fault for why it happened. Because he tried to basically say, like, Hamlin is going to go make the tackle, and then Higgins thrusted himself into him, and that's a part of it. that's a part of what happened. And he was like, the NFL needs to do a better job of outlawing it. I'm like, so this is what you're doing, bro? Like, that was a freak accident on a freak play. Right. Like You th- see more gruesome hits and tackles, and, and, and we're taught to protect ourselves. And all he did was use his shoulder. He didn't spearhead him no, he didn't or use anything he like just, that. He just he went in. He went and delivered the blow instead of being taken by the blow as a receiver. And that's what you're supposed to well, look, man. <laughs> that's look, what I'm saying. That's, and people should come for people was coming for him too. I would too, because now you look, look, look. This is and, and I'm not man, about to do and, that, and, but I just get tired of this whole um nonsense of 
you know, just because it's a free world, free country, you can say whatever the heck you want to say. It's just insensitive and dumb at sometimes. Like, sure. but like, think about what you just said. <laughs> it's Higgins' fault because he well, went into. He didn't really. He didn't say it was his fault, but he. You know, the insinuation. You can read between the lines. It's crazy, bro. But anyway, man, I'm so grateful that my dog is getting better. Yeah, and, man. And, uh, you know, I ain't going to hold you. And then we move on to, the, to, to some, some other stuff. I shed a tear when it was like he took off the breathing tube and he, uh, you know what I'm saying, and uh, he called his FaceTime his teammates. Or no, no, it was before that. He was like, did we win the game? Yeah. Like, that was a that was a tear. Like, a one tear of joy. Like, man, God, you are so good. To, to allow that brother, you know, a, a situation that that was for his bag can work out for his good. And then he ended up getting, you know, you know uh, his, his uh, foundation that he's doing. $7.5 million. And all he wanted was 2500 You know, sometimes. And you always be like, like did I have to go through that? To, to get, get y'all to do that? Yeah. And I, I, honestly, I thought about that. I said, you know what I mean? it's crazy. You know, again, all the support is nice. But it's like it's crazy because now you know him on his 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 quote unquote deathbed, right? He had all the contributions for everybody. Like his foundation was important prior to this, right? You feel me? And that's what I'm saying. People, at, at us as people, we have to be better. We and again, be. we we it's great. All the support from fans, hundred percent. Great, it's a great donation, and I'm now saying. you know he can really help out a lot of different people. But exactly. it shouldn't have took that. Like people should have been donating, helping out that cause, because he started that in college with no money. Exactly. So <laughs> you know what I mean. But keep getting well, brother. 